So one day I felt like helping myself, man. You know, as village people, we are used to sitting in the bush. So these things of going in the toilet that is in the same house where you live and the sitting room is just a, just a corner and then you are in the toilet. Ah, we are not used. So I went in the bush to go help myself. Just when I sat down and started my business, eh, I saw a big snake man looking into my eyes, face to face, guys. Mm. Eh, I was frozen. I was frozen for two minutes. Then later when the heart started pumping blood again, it's when I started running now, going home. I left my trouser there. Mm. And the gate was locked. I don't even remember how I passed through that gate, man. So just when I reached the sitting room, man, eh, that's when I realized that not everyone wants to die, man. Mm. My auntie ran into the kitchen to go hide in the pot. And my other cousin ran to go hide in the maize mill. And the other one ran to go hide in the toilet pot. So I went to go hide under the bed. Now in the bed there, I saw the same snake again lying there. But people who took me out there told me it was just a belt. But for me, I saw a snake, guys, the same snake. So there I did not freeze. I fainted now. So they took me to the hospital and I was in the hospital for four years until now. So from that day onwards, I realized that a snake is not my friend. And we will never be friends. But I really like the snake's meat. Somehow it tastes like chicken. Somehow it tastes like goat meat. It's really nice meat, man. So this is Pilako, the storyteller. Please don't forget to share this video. And